All right, guys, so I thought I'd give you a little shed update on how it's going. We got the front kind of framed in. We're not done yet. Still have to do another piece up here. Um, I'm just going to do one big door. I don't know which way I want it to swing yet. It's kind of why we went thicker here is to put, I'm going to use uh, gate hinges so they're a little bit stronger. And then in the door, we're going to use a big, we have some extra windows in the garage. Um, they're like double pane glass. That's going to be pretty much a little bit smaller in this opening, but I'm going to put it horizontal across the top. So when I have the door closed, I can still get light in there when I want it. Then around the back. So originally we thought these sides were four feet tall, but we remembered that studs are four feet. So you have to add an inch and a half on each side. So we're a little short on the bottom, but I came up with a good idea. I'm going to get another piece of plywood and uh, put it along the bottom. And then I think probably from like, I think a foot up, I'm going to tape it off and I'm going to spray it all the way around uh, with truck bed liner to keep water from, you know, splashing on the ground and rotting the wood. And then we're going to paint the rest. I think the paint we have is like a deck sealer and all that, so it should be pretty waterproof. I don't know about the roof yet. It rained last night and it held up. I mean, there's no leaks in here at all. Um, I ripped off this back section right there today, so it's doing pretty good. But yeah, I don't know about if I'm going to end up replacing this plywood or not. I'll probably just get it in a good sealed condition. You know, finishing this, we're putting a window in right here. And then, not right now, but whenever I get a window AC unit, I got two over the weekend, one worked. One didn't, they were used, they smelt really bad when you turned them on, so I just kind of cut my losses and I mean, they're free. So I try and sold them. Got 80 bucks for both of them. So we'll kind of look out for another one. Tried to get another one last night that was broken, that wasn't turning on, I was gonna try to get, but someone beat me to it. But yeah. I'm gonna end up having a, I don't know which side I want. I'll probably do a window here, AC unit here on this side. But the window is, it's not gonna slide open or close or anything. It's just a double pane, same as the front, just a little bit smaller. Um, but we're gonna frame it in and I'm gonna have it swing out. I don't know which way I want it to swing yet. But that'll give me quite a bit of natural light. Um, I did get on Facebook uh, three months ago, maybe. Um, some little, I think they're like four or six inch, kind of like can lights, but they're actually like, I don't know, they have like a cover to make them look um, completely flush and everything. But I'm going to end up, I have ten of those I got, and retail, they're like almost $300 for all ten of them. And I paid like $20, I think, for the whole box. So I'm going to end up probably putting a piece of wood up top so I can store some stuff. Probably the same height as that doorway. And then I'm going to put some lights around the top. And then figure out workbench and all that. But that's kind of the progress of this right now. Um, I still haven't leveled the floor yet. I mean, it's level, but I haven't gotten more secure anchors or posts. I'm going to end up using these concrete blocks all the way around it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for now. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.